Boom! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Perfect Bag. My name is Clint. You're here in the right place for One Take Bag Reviews. And today, boom, look at this. We're talking about a Jansport crossbody. Link, as always, in the video description. And I gotta say, look at this thing. Honestly, pretty great looking bag, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I traded for this bag, traded another bag for this one. What did I trade? I traded a Mountain Smith Fanny Pack, the Trippin' Fanny Pack, which I love, I do love, for this. And I wanted to see, would I enjoy a slim form factor crossbody like this Jansport, which is a cheap, 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 cheap bag, cheapest chips, as they say. Is it a good bag, though? Is it a joy to wear? Well, you know what we do on this channel. We do one-take bag reviews. What does that mean? We're going to look at the exterior of this bag first, and then we're going to look at the interior, and then I'm going to give you two things that I like about the bag, two things that I think could be better, and an overall recommendation. Who might this be the perfect bag for? Let's dive in. Okay, exterior first. This is a slick-as-heck nylon, super lightweight, no frills. We've got two little attachment points for bike lights or sanitizer or anything else you want to slip through this little leather attachment point nice little feature um, and then you've got the classic as heck jansport logo here nothing in the bag world i would argue is more classic than that you've got three zippers on this bag main compartment and two front pockets here okay they all open left to right they're all kind of branded jansport zippers um, and they're all, well, nothing fancy. The whole bag is, well, nothing fancy. I'm excited to share it with you regardless because ultimately at the end of the day, sometimes you need nothing fancy. All right, so is this exterior nice? No. Is it just fine? Yes. Looks like it is very well constructed, beefy, although no frills. Very easily adjustable in terms of length, although um, the uh, strap is non-removable. So non-removable strap, but good, decent materials throughout. Um, you can see kind of the seatbelt webbing nylon or seatbelt seat belt shiny nylon here. Um, and then plastic D-rings here at the attachment point. Again, nothing fancy, but nothing wrong with it. All right, inside pocket number one, I've got my AirPods. It's a pretty small pocket. We're talking about, you know, a three by five pocket. So imagine a three by five card. Kids, a three by five card is a little piece of paper about yay big. It's about the size of an iPhone uh, 14 Pro, let's say. That's a three by five card, kids. And then in this pocket, I've got my EDC pocket knife and multi-tool. Okay. Now, that's it in these pockets. They are a little hard to open. I hate flaps like this that cover up the zipper. I get why they did it. They didn't use an AquaGuard zipper. It's just kind of annoying. So, not my favorite. Inside, that you can see the bag opens up all the way. It's got two, it's a dual zip here, so you can open and close it on either side. Then you can see the interior fabric here has, is like an homage to different Jansport bags, and it says Jansport 1967. This one says The Big Student. This one says Hatchet, which is awesome, because I love that bag. Um, this one says Right Pack, so it's, I, I like this. This is a neat detail for Jansport. Kind of walking you down memory lane of all the Jansport bags you've owned over the years, or maybe some that you can pick up on the trade market, so pretty cool. The best of them is the Hatchet. It says Living is made from 100% recycled polyester okay um, but yeah the hatchet is the best bag on the inside of the liner unfortunately all the bags on the inside of the liner are better than the bag that the liner is in my humble opinion okay what's going on inside here well it's a pretty convenient size here i've got my gimbal with the tripod attachment on it which is a measure for me of whether or not i can easily use this bag for my city carry and i've got a uh, power brick and charger and uh, got my flashlight and some sanitizer tossed in here. And then on the front, inside, you've got two little stretchy slip pockets um, made of mesh. And I've just tossed some cords in there because, frankly, that's about all you can toss in there 
but it is a good size compartment. Yeah, it's a good size compartment. There are no pockets on the back of the bag. In fact, there's nothing else to the bag. So, this Jansport crossbody, what do we think? Two things that I like about the bag. First off, I really like the look of the bag. The colorway combined with the shiny materials, combined with the pockets on the front, it's a good looking bag. Really, I, I truly mean that, really good looking bag. That's why I got it. That's why I traded a bag that I really do like a lot for this bag. I think it's good, looks good. The second thing I really enjoy about this bag is the actual strap. It's comfortable. It's not great, it's not special, but for a budget bag, which is what this is, I found myself thinking that this was a very comfortable bag to wear. Now, unfortunately, there's a much longer list of things that I don't like as much about this bag. The first thing I don't like very much about the bag is the interior organization, or I should say the lack thereof, because we've got a couple of pockets here, but that's it. Why, why no pocket on the back here? Why no little tablet pocket? Why no Kindle pocket? Why no two zippered pockets? Why, huh, that's just disappointing. The pocket size itself is nice. But yeah, I just found myself wanting something. I mean, I shouldn't have to just toss a flashlight in here and not have any pocket in the whole bag big enough to carry a pin or a flashlight. Like even just... How easy would that have been? Just a couple of slips on the side. I don't know. Could have been better. Could have been better. So that's the first thing that I don't enjoy very much about the bag is the lack of any real organization in the bag. And the second thing that I don't like quite as much about this bag is these front pockets, unfortunately. They don't, they're not easy to use. They're not a pleasure to use. They're just, they're just there. They're okay size, um, but yeah, the whole thing looks better than it functions, unfortunately. Now, who might it be the perfect bag for? We always do it. This is not a great bag. I, I'm just going to tell you, I would avoid this one. There's just so many other options, even within this price range, that I enjoy a lot more than this bag. I'll link a video of 10 or 12 or 13, I can't remember how many I did, small cross bodies like this that I enjoy more than this bag. Um, so that you have options, but honestly, y'all, just not my favorite. If you love the look, go for it, because you're not really blowing much money at all, but it just, I don't know, I can't even put my EDC pouch comfortably into, yeah, look at that, it's just tough. All right, okay, so, everybody, this is a Jan Sport crossbody bag, this is a cheap option, and this is one that, honestly, I'd pass on. Hope this is helpful to you. Hope you enjoyed getting a peek at this bag, even if I didn't love it. And everybody, as always, thank you for the support, and we will see you next time. Bye for now, everybody.